Dina Lowen joins us live right now here on GMA. Thanks for coming Hi, in this morning. So much to talk a about. Early. It is early. We're wide awake at this hour. Yeah, I get up. <laughs> I'm used to it at this point, but it is Friday. Uh, Charlie Sheen, what a week he has had. Calling in with all of this uh, into Dan Patrick's radio show a couple of times. He actually also called our reporter, Andrea Canning, yesterday. They had an extensive conversation. You saw what he said about Lindsay there. He also according to Andrew, had some uh, advice for you, and we wanted to show that r oh, right here. He says We're it's getting this live, folks, so what, what is that? It's, that he says it, it's never one. too late to get a fresh start. Quit believing that losing is an option. Embrace what you see in the mirror. Very, you know, very positive advice. What do you make of it? You know, he's 45, uh, 40 odd years old, and Lindsay's 24, and I mean, I don't know why they compare the two. He seem, I love his show. He's a talented actor. He's been in the business a lot longer than my daughter. And he's, you know, he's from Hollywood. Um, his father, talented actor. His stepbrother. Um, I don't know. I, I just think that Lindsay took his, you know, his advice and she gave him advice as well. So She did. What'd she tell him? Just get help, you know. She, Lindsay, as you say, has been getting help. You say she's sober yeah, now. She's, she's How's she doing? I mean, um, Betty Ford was life changing for all of us. I mean, I put her in a couple of rehabs over the years, and um, you know, it, it's not about the the you know rehab. It's about where she is personally in her sobriety and and her growth. She's matured considerably. So. Who's given her the single best piece of advice on how to handle? all this on how to get straight on how to get clean i mean i don't think there's one person as a mother i tell her every day you know you love your children you have two daughters yourself i believe so i mean we just embrace them and, and just want them to be healthy and happy and and okay um so i think that's a learning experience it's an individual experience so you, you know you have to wherever it comes from i do what i can do my parents taught me well just to live morally correct and, and be a good person. And you know, yeah, she's no. in Hollywood, she's under a microscope, so it's Boy, a, little, sure it's a lot more difficult. A lot more than a microscope last week when she went back into court, you had those cameras everywhere. How, how worried is she and you about the real possibility now that she's going back to jail? Well, God willing, she won't go back to jail. That's what I'm saying, how worried but are you But obviously about it? it's, not, it's not a happy moment for us and we're taking it very seriously. And. You know, I, I really can't talk, obviously, about the case. Um, it's pending, so we have great attorneys, and I, and I, the media makes it a lot, you know, a lot worse than it really is. How so? So we stick to the facts. What what, is, what has the media gotten wrong? I mean, the media has got nothing wrong. It's just it's what you do. You know, no, but what, what just, are we getting? Just, what, what have we gotten wrong about the story? That's what I'm asking. I mean, I, I obviously can't talk about the case, so I'm going to be guarded a little bit guarded there, but. It, it's just, you know, they make it, it's so sensationalized. You know, they, they talk about the dress she wore to court. I mean, it's just, to me, it's just ridiculous how it, it they take the onus off, off the real problem and what's really happening. And we do take it seriously and it's not a joke. But I think, I think, you know, there's just so much propaganda surrounding it. But, but you're convinced, again, you can't talk too much about it, you're convinced that Lindsay's going to be able to prove that she didn't steal that necklace. I'm not convinced about anything because you know the system is the system. I'm a firm believer in the in the system, but anything can happen, especially in that town. Let's assume the best. Let's assume she stays out mm -hmm. uh, of jail. She still has had this continuing series. Uh, yeah, but of, you're not focusing on her sobriety and how well she's that's doing. That's what I was. And and what's what's been going on personally with her. That's you what know, I was. Nobody just, talks about the positive. Everyone just wants to like knock you down. You know. So, well, let, let, let's get to that, though. How do, you, how do you make sure, assuming you get by this, that she stays on a straight path, that she gets back to work, that she come, starts creating movies again, like the ones we all love, the ones I love to watch mm. with, with my daughters? You know, when Britney Spears was in so much trouble, her father came in, just swept away her team, took control, and turned it around. Is something like that an option now? You know, we're working with her team, and they're, they're great people that we work with now. And, and I think they're media experts. And Lindsay's just a little girl, loves to work. And I could care less if she does another movie. But, but you have to surround yourself with people that, that get the business. I raise my kids to be normal, happy, go-lucky kids. You know, so when you're faced with such adversity and you're, you're so under a microscope, it's really difficult to live your life, be normal, and, you know, 
she had a, she got a DUI in 2007. Certainly that is not the right thing to do. And I do not condone drinking and driving. But it happens, and it happened for her publicly. She's still paying a price for that. And I think they need to just let it go. And, and I, I think the media has changed. You know, when Lindsay was 18, that whole group of girls, Paris, Jessica Simpson, like the whole... I think it just changed and you know we have the internet now I have a 14 year old they google everyone I googled you before I came on my son's like get on your it's iPad I was like okay <laughs> I know more about you than you know about me probably at this moment but it, it is what it is you know and and unfortunately or fortunately I love you know evolution I mean it's great you know but I have Facebooks of me that aren't me and I could care less I just signed on a couple of days ago my kids are like you need a Facebook to get all the, the fake Facebooks of you all. So what, what responsibility do you take for what's happened? What can you all do now to help turn it all around? You know, I'm learning as I go as well. You know, you don't get a parent handbook. I'm a single mother of four kids and we're very close and it's been difficult and I, I can't say I have any answers, you know, but I, I all we can do is, is love our kids and be there for them and, and, and catch them when they fall. and and instill what I've learned from my parents who are married 50 years and just move forward, you know. Finally, we're all gonna mess up, you know. Finally, we're just about out of time. If, if you could sum it up, what does Lindsay want right now? Gosh, she just wants everyone to leave us alone, basically, and let her live her life and let her grow up. You know, she's 24 and that's not young. She's a young woman, um, but I just think to just breathe Okay, Dina Lowen, thanks very much for coming in this morning. Thank you. And now I have no idea what I just said. Does anyone know what I said? <laughs> <laughs> it was terrific.